In the last video, I showed you a custom AI tool that I built for all my Etsy listings. And I'm happy to say it's massively boosted my sales. So it works, which is awesome. But I also mentioned that I would show you exactly how I built this tool. And that's what this video is. I'm going to show you step by step exactly how I built it so that you can build one as well. This is a video you definitely want to watch. Now I'm going to break down step by step exactly how I made this tool. It'll give you sort of a framework so that you can build one yourself as well. Step one is deep research with chat GPT. The first First thing I did was use one of my deep research credits inside ChatGPT. If you're on ChatGPT Plus, you get 10 of these per month and they're super powerful. I mean, I could make a whole video just on how good these are. A quick detour, if you've never used deep research or you haven't even heard about it before, deep research mode basically turns ChatGPT into like your own little research assistant. You give it a topic, it goes off to analyze a ton of high quality sources behind the scenes, like blogs, books, forums, product listings, reviews, all sorts. And then it returns with this really detailed report that has like all of the key trends, and insights. It takes about half an hour to an hour depending on your prompt. This used to be locked behind a $200 a month pro plan but then DeepSeek came out and it made OpenAI look like really bad <laughs> so they made it available to all plus users but you do have to have a plus account to be able to use deep research but there are other ways you can always just ask a friend or have someone like me do it for you for this deep research prompt I wanted it to do like a really deep dive on all the high demand products and the marketing of those products specifically on Etsy and it came back with gold like it came back with common title structures tagging trends, emotional tones that are converting well, the main keywords that Etsy shoppers are responding to in 2025, and even just like little formatting choices like using emojis or different kind of spacing tricks. Honestly, you could you could just read this. It's basically a crash course and what makes a really great Etsy listing. Just this deep research alone is the equivalent of some of the paid courses you can find online for listing on Etsy. But honestly, this is just the the beginning of our building. We've got a lot more to add. Step two, pasting into my prompt builder. Next, I pasted that entire deep research report into my prompt writing tool. And there's a link in the description as well. If you want to try it, it's completely free. The reason I dropped that into my prompt writing tool is because if you want to build a custom GBT, a custom AI, you need a really strong prompt. And in my experience, the best prompts come from really great data, which we now have from the deep research. Great context which is what we're about to make and that's where my tool comes in it walks you through some clarifying questions and ultimately it makes your GPT way more accurate quick tip try and give your prompt emotional weight so AI responds better when it knows that the task matters and there's a whole bunch of research around this one of the questions my tool will ask is what's the emotional significance of this for you and in my case I answered that if this doesn't succeed I could be made redundant. I won't be able to provide for my family. Now, you don't have to go that deep, but the more personal and real your answer, the better results you're going to get. Now that I've added all that in, the tool has come out with a pretty good detailed prompt to help me in my business. Hey, just a quick one. If you're finding value in this video, please consider liking and hitting subscribe. All right, thanks. Step three, creating the GPT. So I jump over to chatgpt.com and then I go into explore GPT and I go into create. And then the prompt we just made, I'm going to paste that in. Now, a lot of people will stop here and they'll think they're just done, you know, like, sweet, I've made my custom tool. It's all good. But that's kind of like downloading Photoshop and like using it once and thinking you're, you know, a graphic designer. We're not there yet. We've got a, we've got a bit more to do. These next few steps are where this custom tool is really going to come to life. Step four, leveling up with Notebook LM. I'm going to jump into Notebook LM. And if you don't know about it, it's a free AI tool from Google. There is a paid plan, but you really don't need it. It works a bit like ChatGPT, but it's smarter in one very specific way. It only uses the sources you upload. So it doesn't go out and look for more sources. It will only refer to the actual documents you give it. The reason that's good is because it won't make stuff up or go off on tangents, which 
which in my experience, it hasn't hallucinated, which hallucinating is like chat GPT lies a lot, you know? And it, for me, Notebook LM has never hallucinated and I use it all the time compared to chat GPT, which will frequently stretch the truth and occasionally it will just outright lie. Okay, so in Notebook LM, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to upload two books that I've read and love. One of them is Copywriting Secrets by Jim Edwards and the other one is .com Secrets by Russell Brunson. Quick PS, I do own these books, so full props to the authors. I own the physical books and the PDFs. They are masterclasses in selling online. Highly recommend you go check them out because they talk about emotional hooks, how to stack benefits, and what makes someone, you know, add to cart and actually buy something. So Notebook LM has scanned them and it's pulled out everything that was directly relevant to product listing and listing online. Quick heads up, Notebook LM keeps everything confidential and that's really great, but if you don't click save to note for all of your conversations, then at the end of the session, all of those convos will be deleted and you can never get them back. So don't be like me and lose hours of work. Just click save to note. Step five, feeding the framework into the GPT. I grabbed all those insights from Notebook LM and I pasted them into my Etsy GPT. And then I uploaded the books as well directly into the tool so that it can refer back to them when it's doing Etsy listings and understands it. Now this GPT isn't just pulling from general AI knowledge or even just that deep research report. It's grounded in proven sales psychology. So it's not just a listing general generator anymore. It's like basically a mini marketing coach that can understand your product and how to sell it properly. So this tool is definitely coming together, but it's still not there yet. We've got one more ingredient to add. Step six, add 2025 SEO trends. I'm going to jump back into Notebook LM and I'm going to add one more layer. First, I searched on Perplexity AI for the most popular articles and YouTube videos about Etsy SEO in 2025. I forgot to screen record this, but there's lots of ways you can find sort of things like this. Number two, I found the top performing videos, blog posts, even Reddit threads, and then I fed those into Notebook LM. And then I got it to summarize all the key takeaways for me. And it showed how Etsy is ranking listings in 2025, how Google search is now a factor, which I didn't actually know until I was building this tool that a lot of traffic on Etsy can actually come from Google search. And then what kind of listings shoppers are actually clicking on and then out of the ones they click on what listings are they actually buying again like these insights are so good that i i think you could like, charge for them in a course and you would be giving good value to people but you don't have to do that because it's all here for free and you can just use it how good now i have the deep research i have the sales frameworks and i have the latest seo trends and i upload all of that into my custom gbt quick heads up which i learned while making this video you can't use the word etsy and a public GBT. I don't know, you can if it's just for you, but you can if you want to make it public and I want it to be public so that, you know, you can use it. So I'll just change its name. Hopefully it works. Yes, it worked. It's alive. If you want to try this with your own listings, the description has the link for it. I have so many tools like this. I've got ones that help with your CV or cover letters, ways to negotiate pay rises, all sorts of stuff that I've made, but I haven't really shared. Hopefully that deal sounds good to you and you'll consider subscribing. See you next time.